these states that were forming what we call the United States today. So the British come ashore with 160 people with 30 African-American corps, and what they find is that the village is completely vacated. Everybody left in a rush, and in the ovens there was still fresh bread that had been baking. Uh, on the tables there were still some meals that had been set. Furniture and everything uh, had been just shoveled where people were taking all their valuables to leave in haste to get away from here because they had no idea what to expect from the British. <clears throat> After that occurred, the people came back to the village. The British had already left, and then they came back again on June the 21st. This time, there was American militia as well as dragoons from the District of Columbia. Dragoons are mounted uh, militia, essentially. This time, they also had artillery. The British attempted to land again. What happens is that now we have a skirmish. So for the first time, there's actually some action going on between the Americans and the British right here at Benedict. As a result of that, there was a fellow by the name of Wise, W-I-S-E, an American who was shot by a British uh, sergeant. And in retaliation, the British sergeant was then killed. So there's one individual from both sides who were killed at the skirmish right here. Where did that skirmish take place? We don't know for sure, but they do talk about a marsh area. And so based on the fact that they talk about a marsh area, we suspect it's over in that direction, but we really don't know for sure. I wished we did. The area, the area around the old schoolhouse was marshy. It's filled in quite a lot. And the old schoolhouse, you can just about see, is kind of this white building right down in that direction. By the way, that's one of the rare two-room schoolhouses in uh, Prince George's County that survives today. That's an African-American. Oh, oh, what did I say? Prince George. Prince George. George. <laughs> what did I say? Is, you said Prince George's oh. right there. Yeah. George said it wasn't African-American. <laughs> the African-American uh, schoolhouse was up the road. My mother went to this one. Well, you ought to know then. <laughs> right. she, she, went, she went to Hughesville in, in third grade. She went to first and second grade here. Okay, but that is a two-room school that supposedly is relatively rare here in too. Charles County. Um, let's see, what else do we want to talk about? Don mentioned to you that during, in between the first Battle of St. Leonard's Creek and the second Battle of St. Leonard's Creek, the British came up and down the river trying to encourage Barney to come out. And by doing that, what did he do? He attacked the plantations all up and down through here. So, it's not easy to see it, but in that direction where you see these new homes, just on the opposite side of the river, there's a house there today. That house was built on the site of a house that was burnt by the British in 1814. The house that sits there today was built around 1816, 1817. But the original house was burnt, burnt by the British. Off in this direction, you kind of see where that uh, radio tower is, just to the right. You see some buildings down along the river. That's an area that was referred to as God's Grace. That area was attacked by the British. That home that was there was completely burnt. If you go down on this side of the river, on the Charles County side of the river, continue about a mile and a half, you come to a place that's called Trent Hall. That was attacked by the British. It was burnt. On the other side, there's Sheridan Point, just about opposite of that. It was attacked by the British. It was burnt. You go all the way down the river and you see that repeated over and over and over. So what was it like in this area in 1814 when the British were done? A lot of devastation. So what did a lot of the people do here? They were destitute. A lot of them left. A lot of them went to the Ohio Valley. The population here was less after the War of 1812 than it was prior to the war because of the depredations that took here by the British. That started after the Revolutionary War. As well. So there's a lot of history here. and I mean, it would be great if we had the time to go back even from the very beginning and talk about all of it, but we're really trying to concentrate here on the War of 1812.